All right, welcome back, everybody. Throughout the year, soldiers from units across the country come through Fort Polk's Joint Readiness Training Center to face Op 4. It's a thinking enemy made up of American troops in the 1st Battalion, 509th Airborne Infantry Regiment. Well, their job is to create a hostile combat environment designed to improve the readiness of the visiting rotational unit for potential deployment. News Channel 5's Lydia Magallanes caught up with Op 4 in part one of our series about training at JRTC. As the sun sets over the fictional country of Atropia at Fort Polk's Joint Ready Training Center, go, go. Op 4 preys on their latest victims. Rock 6, this is 1 6. Soldiers with Fort Drum 2nd Brigade Combat Team, 10th Mountain Division. It's good to give our two a good fight. Because a lot of these units, they come down here right before they deploy. So we give them you know, the best fight of their lives. So that way, when they're overseas, you know, they don't sweat small stuff over there. The opposition force, or OP-4, is made up of soldiers in the 1st Battalion 509th Airborne Infantry Regiment. OP-4 has home field advantage in the box, or the simulated combat training area, and the odds are stacked against the visiting rotational unit, or RTU. Sending in your tangle foot in the wood line to make it a pain in the butt to travel through there. If you're on the attack, you're, you're prepping mission, driving around trying to find uh, the RTU guys and attacking them before the attack even happens, so there's less of them to fight. Fight, me, fight us when we get there. Staff Sergeant Philip Salisbury says it's Op 4's job to expose RTU's mistakes at the box where the death toll is only fictional. We give these guys the worst day we can possibly give them before they have to deploy. And if that means that they don't make it to their objective, but they learn something from it and they can take that overseas, then hey, that's a win for us and I'm happy. It's a sophisticated game of laser tag, but there's no winner, just lessons learned. Op 4 and the RTU are outfitted with multiple integrated laser engagement system or miles gear on their chests, heads, and weapons. Lasers and blank cartridges make the training realistic. If you're not on flak, which means you're not wearing body armor, then one shot, you're dead. They can hit you on the side, that's where your, head, uh, your halo comes in. If they try to hit you, aim at the head. It's an automatic kill shot. If they hit you on the body, you might get a near miss if the laser's off and they're not zero. But if they hit you pretty much dead center, you're dead. But the training doesn't just benefit RTU. Many soldiers, like Sergeant Davon Jones, apply deployment experience to playing Op 4. He says it helps him better understand the battlefield. So instead of being uh, the friendly force, you're the enemy force. So you get to actually think and uh, interact as an enemy. Um, think how they move, how they act, how you would react if you were um, going up against a coalition force. Op 4 is in the field 10 times a year for 14 to 28 days out of the month. Captain Lon McBride, commander of Charlie Company for 1st 509th, says soldiers have to maintain intensity every rotation. Everyone's got a, a good understanding that even we're, even though we're playing miles and it you know, seems like a laser tag game, that it's in preparation for moving downrange where there's real world impacts to every action. The cliche practice like you play takes on a new meaning at JRTC. Sergeant Joseph Sinecropi says if Op 4 doesn't perform at a high level, RTU won't get the training they need. We know that what we do is going to affect them down the road and my guys that are in my squad later on when they go to a different unit. So. Some people may want to try and not take it serious, and I would understand that, but we, as leaders, don't allow them to. We push them to be better than what they are. But it's not all work and no play. Although Op 4 takes training seriously, it's still a job many soldiers enjoy. A lot of fun carrying a big gun and just take out as many as RT as I can. It's a good time. I've been with 509th going on three years now, um, and these three years have been like hard and rough, but uh, I'm really loving what I do here. On Fort Polk, Lydia Magallanes for News Channel 5, your local station. And you can tune in tomorrow for the second part of the series where Lydia takes a closer look at role players and how they help teach troops how to interact with civilians and government officials overseas. She worked pretty hard on that, yeah, too. She, like, stayed cool up stuff. there and everything. Pretty good.